Hi, welcome to the video. So in this tutorial series, we'll be learning how to make a 3D multiplayer game in HTML5 using Firebase and 3.js. So let's look at a demo to see um, what we'll have by the end of this tutorial. So here I'm a cube, and if I open another tab, my friend is on his other computer, and he'll be able to see me, and I'll see him, and we can move around. Now before we go any further, I'd like to apologize to some of my viewers uh, who've watched some of my previous videos, because as you know, I've made this tutorial series before using Node.js. But I stopped because I was having some networking issues with Node.js. But very soon after, I found this tool called Firebase, which allowed networking to be a lot easier. And so the main difference between this tutorial series and my previous uh, series is that I'll actually finish this one and we'll be using Firebase rather than Node.js. So this introduction is designed to introduce you to the technologies and tools we'll be using to make our game. So let's start with Firebase. So here, Firebase, it says, we're excited to announce major upgrades. We've been hard at work adding new features to make app development easier for you, including notifications, file storage, analytics, remote config, dynamic links and more. We're excited to show you what we built. So actually, this is their new website. They published this website today, on the 18th of May, I think. Um, we can move forward to their new website. Um, but I think we should just uh, see what their old website look, just to uh, accustom ourselves with the type of service that Firebase provides. The main service, I think, uh, that they provide is a real-time database. So what does that mean? So that you have this is a database, and you can add data to it. And of course, I'm adding it manually right now. Uh, usually, you would add it through uh, your a an API, through JavaScript or uh, Swift or Java. And so I'm going to add some data. Let's say uh, my name. Pius, add. So this is uh, JSON formatted data, and uh, you can you can add additional data. You can add um, uh, games. Oh, sorry, games. Uh, my first game is World of Warcraft. We add my second game, Call of Duty, add, and so you get the picture. So data is stored here, and all of these uh, pieces of data have their own URL. So if I click on games, for instance, it's going to take me to this URL slash games. If I click on one, it takes me to this uh, URL that has this data. So let's look at the rest of the format for this. So we have our database here. If we can go back. And we have security rules to access that data in a certain way. We have a simulator, analytics, login and authentication, hosting, and secrets. So I really like the login authentication system as well that they provide. Uh, they allow you to integrate Google uh, login, Google, Facebook, uh, GitHub uh, login uh, into your application very easily. So that means you don't have to learn the APIs for all these other services to integrate login into your application. You can just use uh, Firebase. And the hosting is really nice as well. You can deploy entire websites to their hosting in a matter of seconds. 
So this is, this was their old UI. Let's take a look at what their new website looks like. So see our new website. And of course we would expect it to be very similar. If we go here to the console, we can familiarize ourselves. We have the, the project. Here I have an example project. I'll click on it. And we have authentication again. Uh, our database and I can delete this current data so they added this feature as a storage and remote config and analytics which I would I would guess oh crash I would guess uh, allows you to uh, to know when your application crashes or or when something's wrong so we'll be using firebase as the networking aspect of our game so let's look at 3.js 3.js is a javascript library that wrap that uses the webgl api and makes manipulating uh, 3D graphics in the web really, really easy. Whereas if you were to work with the WebGL API directly, uh, it's it gets really complicated if you want to build really uh, large, beautiful apps. So here are a bunch of examples that they have, and I encourage you to check them out. An example that uh, my brother and I worked on recently is this. Uh, 3D world that's based on uh, this movie, this animated movie called Summer Wars. So you can customize your character here, give him a different head, different eyes, and it's based on this movie here. So those are the two main technologies that we'll be using to make our game. Now let's look at the tools. So in order to access the local host, we need to have we need to use some sort of software that allows our computer to run as a web server. I like to use Mongoose server. And here it says sesanta.com slash products. And we need mongoose. Let's let's use this one, the far right, the mongoose server application. And there should be a free version and to decide and I have a Windows so here I'm going to open it up in my folder and it opened in my downloads folder I'll delete the one I have now. Okay, never mind. So you need to, uh, let's let's drag this folder onto our desktop. I already have it there. So, and for my text editor, I'll be using Sublime. So you can go to sublimetext.com, and they have a Windows build, and download that. And this is how the text editor looks. But you can use whichever text editor you'd like. It's not um, critical that you have Sublime. And that's it. In the next video, we'll start making our game. Thanks for watching.